Playground games are finally giving us some cars we were asking for over and over again. This time we've got the brand new BMW M4 competition from the latest G82 generation. It's a car that polarizes, but it's definitely a car not everyone likes. I'm for sure one of them who got caught by its modern aggressive shape. But even if you don't like the shape, you can't negate that this is a really special car in many ways. First of all, BMW is the only German manufacturer who still develops manual gearboxes and offers them in their high performance models. The next thing is that you still have a straight 6 engine, which isn't yet enough. The S58 is actually the same engine BMW is using in their GT3 cars currently. The last point I want to mention, that this M4, but of course also the M3, is still available as pure rear-wheel drive option, where you can 100% disable the stability control. After all the Rhapsody about the new M4 generation, I also have to point out the negative things about the car, at least in the game. First of all, the weight. It's pretty high for a sports car in this class and this also affects the braking performance. I don't quite understand why we haven't got the carbon ceramic brakes as standard, but at least we can change it afterwards. The next negative point is the handling and transition phases. I'm not sure what causes this unstable handling, but I guess the main reason is the weight again. Probably the whole suspension could also be part of it. That's why I wanted to fix those problems and try to go for an A-class build, but it wasn't good at all. The problems were mostly gone, but still I wasn't happy about the whole handling. So I went for an S1 class build, now we have more or less two problems. The first one are 1000 Nm of torque combined with rear wheel drive. Even with slicks you now have problems with wheel spin until you shift into fourth gear. Secondly, the lack of aero combined with a top speed of over 370 kph. The Forza Arrow would have so much sense, but I, I can't see it anymore. On the other hand, I really like them performance parts, so I wanted to use them of course. I don't quite understand why you can't just adjust those parts, but I guess it's a huge problem for playground games to implement this to the game. Nevertheless, you now have a car that needs a precise driver and much practice to master it. This car wins on straights and loses its time again in corners, so it's definitely a setup for sprint races. 